good day and welcome to Impact News. I've got your stories for the week, folks. We're going to start out with, should we boycott Tennessee after that silliness that those uh, right-wing Republicans put forth? I mean, it's just the whole thing is just so ridiculous, okay? Should we all join those efforts to boycott Tennessee? Well, it's trended on Twitter, of course, after Republicans expelled two young black Democrats, of course, two young black males, their leaders, and they expelled them because they dared to protest guns and the killing of children? The sickness in these Republicans is frankly frightening. They're very, they're just not human. They just aren't. Democratic state reps Justin Jones and Justin Pearson, as you know, both of them were expelled. So far, Jones has already, already been reinstated, and we expect Pearson to be reinstated this week because everybody else has since, okay? Uh, the state reps, as we know, protested along with white woman Democrat Gloria Johnson, who was not expelled. And we all know why, because these right wing Republicans are so insecure that they cannot stand anybody that doesn't look like them. Poor babies. OK, thus the so-called cause to boycott Tennessee. And so the irony, the irony of it all, here's what one writer called it. And he said, she said, the irony of the so-called pro-life and anti-cancel culture Republicans out here officially canceling Democrats for being more pro-life than they are. Unquote. I'll say, folks, this while the Tennessee Republicans commit offense after offense, moral offense, legal offense, and everything in between. One lawmaker is actually accused of pulling the pants down on a referee because the lawmaker didn't like the referee's call. This is, this is the examples that they are to their children. Okay, in another case, a lawmaker's daughter is accused of shooting herself in the head with his handgun. How did she even get it? These people are so negligent with no care for children. Other Republican state representatives, as we know, have posed on Christmas cards and everybody on the Christmas card, including them, their spouse and their children, every single one of them is holding guns and many of them are holding automatic uh, hand. Can you imagine automatic rifles? What is, they are so sick incredibly bad judgment and they're representing you in Tennessee if you were stupid enough to elect them okay all right others are, are and and why would they have such bad judgment and others are just trying to keep kids safe and they can't handle that folks Tennessee speaker Cameron Sexton oh he's the numero uno he's the big hot show he's admitting that he lives with his family in Nashville not in Crossville which is the district he represents which is 200 miles away isn't he violating the residency requirements? And even if he isn't, folks, people have said this. They say that uh, Cameron Sexton has been charging the government mileage for going from his district to Nashville. The question is, was he actually doing that? And if he wasn't, he's got all kinds of problems, including a tax problem. So we'll see what's going on there. Sexton has reportedly also not paid property taxes on his two-bedroom condo in Crossville for the last two years. But of course, he still has the unit. Had he been in a certain community, he wouldn't have a thing, okay? Who wants to go to Tennessee? Not me. Get that mess straight, and then we'll come. Until then, we may have to starve out the Tennessee tourism industry until they get rid of these fools that are running it. I'm Carol Angela Davis. Stay with me for the news. Thanks for staying with me. I am Carol Angela Davis, bringing you the news from around the neighborhood. And of course, all around the world, we begin with news that's being reported in the hip hop industry. Harvard University, folks, Harvard University is just getting on my nerves, okay? Aside from producing rabid racists and anti democracists like Josh Hawley and Ron DeSantis, now Harvard police reportedly, are you not going to believe this, held black students at gunpoint. Yes, you heard me correctly after a false 911 call. At least five officers responded with their guns drawn to Leverett House, one of the university's largest residential buildings on the campus. The four students were all seniors. They were sleeping in their beds, awakened by loud bangs on the door, okay, demanding they open up, or, and it was about 4 a.m. Oh, yeah, it's on, okay? One student said the officers aimed their rifles at them and told them to exit with their hands up, folks. That's right. Uh, the swatting news, that's, what, oh, that's called swatting. The swatting news at Harvard comes on the same week it was reported that the university admitted a lower number of black students compared to the year before. So of course, that's the point, but guess what? Harvard better watch it because the HBCUs are just as good and families are tired of putting their children in harm's way. And you remember that in 2009, a 911 caller falsely alleged that Harvard professor Henry Louis Gates, we call him Skip Gates, you know, he is an iconic African-American scholar, 
They said he was breaking into a home that, of course, was actually his own house. All right, that didn't stop the cops. Gates was arrested, of course. The charges were later dropped, and Gates alleged she was the victim of racial profiling. So stop it, okay? Let's move. And, of course, they have that new attorney general there in Massachusetts. I'm sure she'll get right to the bottom of that mess. All right, also in the hip-hop industry, it's being reported that a white teacher was caught on video repeatedly using the N-word and also pressuring a student to also say the word, okay? It happened at Sequoia Middle School there in Fontana, California, where the class was reading a Mark Twain novel. The teacher reportedly got in front of the class and said the word is just an English word and everybody can say it if they want to. Okay, we'll see about that. Fortunately, a black student was in the class and recorded the teacher with her cell phone camera. Don't mess with the kids. You haven't figured that out yet? Okay. <laughs> Let's move on, folks. Here are the fruit, fruits and vegetables. This is important to with your health now. Fruits and veggies with the least pesticides. They call them the clean 15. So you do need to incorporate as many as possible into your diet. This is the Clean 15 as ranked by the Nonprofit Environmental Working Group. Now, the list is, being, is based on data from 46,000 samples of 46 fruits and vegetables that were tested for pesticides. These are the top 15 items with the lowest amount of pesticide residues. Are you ready for the list? Here we go. Avocados, sweet corn, pineapple, onions, papaya, sweet peas, as long as they're frozen, uh, also, asparagus, honeydew melon, kiwi, cabbage, mushrooms, mangoes, sweet potatoes, watermelon, and carrots. That's about all you can eat these days, okay? Almost 65% of these clean 15 fruits and veggies had no detectable pesticide residues. So, you know, mark your grocery list accordingly. All right, let's move on to your drinking water. Lithium in your drinking water is being identified as a potential risk factor for autism. That's right, folks. Scientists have identified a link between lithium levels in, a Denmark, in Denmark's water supply and an increased chance of children later getting an autism diagnosis. Lithium is a naturally occurring element, uh, and it is a medication that is commonly used to treat mood disorders, but it has also previously been associated with miscarriages and also cardi cardiac malfunctions in newborns. This is the first time an association has been made with autism spectrum disorder. The research has been published in the Journal of the American Medical Association in the pediatrics, JAMA Pediatrics. That's the one you want to get. All right, now, a new study into how quickly ice sheets melted at the end of the last ice age is raising alarm over how quickly sea levels could rise today. Parts of a large ancient ice sheet covering Eurasia retreated up to 2,000 feet a day, people. That's more than the length of the entire Empire State Building. Could this indicate, could it indicate how fast ice can melt in Greenland and Antarctica if current climate trends continue? Well, NASA says ice in Antarctica and Greenland is melting six times faster than in the 1990s. That's going on right now. And air and ocean temperatures in Antarctica and Greenland are projected to increase and match temperatures seen at the end of the last ice age. Scientists say if existing glaciers retreated about 600 meters per day for a year, there probably won't be any ice left, which of course would also be a global sea rise disaster. All right, and let's look at methane because it is a big part of the alarming rise in planet warming gases, so we do have to get that under control. Methane in the atmosphere has it had its fourth highest increase in 2022, and that is the word from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, NOAA. Scientists are particularly concerned about methane because it traps 87 times, yes, 87 times more heat than carbon dioxide on a 20-year time scale. Methane is a gas. It leaks from wells and natural gas lines. That's why they're talking about getting rid of the gas stoves because of the methane and natural gas lines. It also wafts from manure ponds, a decomposing landfill, there's a lot of them, and directly from livestock. So that's another thing that we can easily reduce if we reduce our reliance on meat. All right, moving on. Let's look at politics. Uh, what about the Ohio Republican caught lying about going to MIT, graduating from MIT? They have no shame. All right, they are such hypocrites, all right? Apparently, Ohio State Representative Dave Dobos, that's his name, he's a Republican from Columbus, he has throughout his entire career claimed to be a graduate of the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, and, says, and he sat on 
the Higher Education Committee for the United States. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? But MIT administrators say that Dob Dobos was a student there for a while, but he did not graduate. How come they could never cut the mustard? Never can. All right. And let's go to the FBI. It is warning about public charging stations. It's all due to juice jacking. It's telling you don't use them because juice jacking is where bad actors use public charges to infect phones and devices and steal your username and password. They get access to your phone, your tablet, or your computer by siphoning off your username and your password. So the FBI says don't use public chargers at malls and airports. And they also say no matter what, stick to your own USB uh, cables and charging plugs. So don't forget that's very important. Let's take a quick look at Jamaica where the island nation is trying to build closer ties with Africa for tourism. So far the targeted countries are South Africa, Botswana, and Sierra Leone. Now the African market as you know it has 1.3 billion people. Ethiopian Airlines, Kenya Airways, and Rwanda Air are considering regular service, uh, air service between uh, Africa and Jamaica. So that's exciting. And then how interesting is this? Beaches Resorts is releasing new sensory guides for Autism Accepted Month, okay? Uh, Jamaica is already home to the, this is in Montego, already home to the Caribbean's first advanced autism-friendly kids camps. It's credentialed by the rigorous International Board of Credentialing and Continuing Education Standards, also by the, it has autism certification. Autism spectrum disorder affects about one in every 36 children, okay? We told you about that lithium, okay? Beaches is committed, it says, to, to creating an inclusive vacation experience for its guests with cognitive disabilities along with this overall guests and families. All right, we're going to take a quick look at the United Kingdom where the government says it's not going to recruit any more health workers from Nigeria. The move comes after the World Health Organization identified Nigeria as one of 55 countries with significant health workforce challenges because there are so many health workers leaving the country that the countries can't take care of their own at home. Currently, there are 11,055 Nigerian trained doctors in the UK. That is the third highest number of foreign doctors working in the United Kingdom. The top countries are India and Pakistan. No word as to whether or not the UK is also suspending taking health care workers from India and Pakistan. We need to check on that because we know what that UK is something. The way they treat Meredith Markle is an absolute disgrace. All righty, folks, those are your stories. I'm Carol Angela Davis. Thanks for staying with me. We've got more. we got your financial news, missing the slay word, ask Dr. K, and your international report. Stay with me. Thank you for staying with me for your slay word of the week. The word this week is eupeptic, E U P. E P T I C eupeptic. It is an adjective. That means it modifies or describes that noun. Its origin is in from the Greek in the late 17th century. The definition is relating to or having good digestion or a consequent air of healthy uh, spirits, healthy good spirits, I should say. We're going to use it in a sentence. I know Donald Trump is drinking a eupeptic tea to help him settle his nervous stomach, folks, now that he is truly facing jail time. Sentence number two, okay, my grandmother swears by the eupeptic properties of her chicken and dumplings. Eupeptic, that is your slave word of the week. Use it all week and level up your vocab. It means relating to or having good digestion or a consequent air of healthy, good spirits. I'm Carol Angela Davis. Level up that vocab and stay with me. Anyone who thinks that slavery ended uh, in the 1860s with the signing of the Emancipation Proclamation are grievously wrong. If we caught a bird, we ate little feathers and ate the bird. We didn't have nothing to cook on. We didn't have no stove. You know who you are and who we are. We're still on that big plantation. She was bonded to them until they died. She was their slave. They said, well, we're going to be killed tonight. Could that same white dude keep terrorists there? Or Russian spies? Or the KGB? And the government wouldn't know it? No. They thought I would beat so bad that I couldn't do nothing, but I did.
Where are you? We're out there looking for you and we will not stop until we find you. Here's our feature of the week. Have you seen 15 year old Anaya Gayton? She's been missing since February this year from Dallas, Texas. That's Anaya Gayton. She's 15 years old. She's been missing since February of this year from Dallas, Texas. Anyone having any information, please contact McKinney Police Department and their phone number is 972-547-2700. Thank you and we hope that you will join us and help us find our missing black girls. Thank you for staying with us. We are bringing you now your international report with Dr. Inyang Ebong Harshchuk. Eni, what you got for us today? Oh, I want to talk about a report that it's a book actually that has come out. It was produced by the Universities of St. Andrew, Manchester and the University of London, King's College to be exact. And it looks at the racial situation and context in the United Kingdom. And I'm sorry to say, no progress has not been made. The study basically says that one in three people, there were 14,000 people in the study, and of that 14,000, one in three say that they have experienced racially motivated physical or verbal abuse. Okay? More than a quarter of those from the minority ethnic groups, so put Africans, Caribbean, Indians, Pakistanis, all of that group experienced racial insults mm. from Almost one in three experienced racial insults in a public place. One in six suffered racism from their neighbors, while 17% suffered damage mm. to their properties mm. from their neighbors in racist attacks. Mm. It is so, so sad. And you know, this, the leader of the study said the kind of equality that they're seeing in the study shows very clearly that the, it is not a just society. But what is really, really interesting is that the attacks and the racism, the problems with the police, because that was a very high number that experienced high levels of a racism in the interaction with the police, that they still hold loyalty and, and consideration to the British uh, establishment and situation and citizenship. They still hold, believe in the government. They still believe in parliament. Wow, it's, it's amazing. And I know you know a lot about that society because you grew up there. But I'll tell you, you know, I noticed the way that they do Meghan Markle. And that is that every single day, without exception, some aspect of the British press says something really bad about her and they never say anything good. It is truly astonishing. It is very, very unfortunate because essentially that is what drove her and Prince Harry out of the country with those relentless attacks. I mean, it's gotten so bad, I don't even bother to click on any of the stories mm. because it's just to click, you read the nonsense, she's this, she's that, she's not producing, she's not doing. And uh, the latest thing on the internet is that they'll be divorced in two years. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. Everything you wish- A lot of it stems from race. Yeah, and just wishing wishing that people of color have, to have bad experiences, bad things happen to them. Well, we know the situation over here, so we've got our own battles to fight, and what a battle it is that, of course, we will win. And we wish our brethren over there in the UK to also win. Thank you so much, Eni. Those That's your international story. We'll, we'll see you next week. We'll have more. We always let you know what's going on around the world. Thanks, Eni. Thanks, Carol. Stay with us. Okay, time to look at the money. You know, we always got to follow the money, see what's going on in this country. So we're going to start in the pharmaceutical industry where Pfizer and more than 200 pharmaceutical companies have all signed on to a letter in support of the FDA after a federal judge had the audacity to suspend approval of a 20-year abortion pill. And no, he's not a scientist. So no, he does not know what he's talking about, okay? The letter is in support of the Food and Drug Administration's authority to regulate drugs, which they've done extremely effectively, okay, including the abortion pill, Mifeprestone. That's the one they're trying to get rid of by any means necessary, literally. The pharmaceutical execs are concerned the ruling will diminish the FDA's authority over drug approvals. I'm not taking any drug approved by a judge. I'm sorry. They don't know what the heck they're talking about. Stick to your lane, dude. The executive said the decision ignores decades of scientific evidence and legal precedent. I bet they wouldn't go for that if we would try to take away their Viagra. And maybe that's what we need to do next. Okay. 
All right, let's take a look at tech. Okay, where Apple's Mac shipments, they fell more than 40%, folks, in the first quarter of 2023. Now, the drop in sales is worse than the drop at their major rivals. Apple's worldwide PC market share uh, dropped between the first quarter of 2022 and the first quarter of 2023 from 8.5% down to 7 point, excuse me, from 8.6% down to 7.2%. Okay, the company shipped 2.8 million fewer devices year over year in the first quarter of 2023. All five of the major computer makers, we're talking Apple, Asus, Dell, HP, and Lenovo, all of them saw double digit drops in first quarter shipments. Apple has started to push suppliers and assemblers to move their operations beyond China. So that's always a good news. You got to keep everything diversified. Okay, let's take a look more at the auto industry here, where Tesla with mean, 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 you know who Elon Musk is so mean. People are sick of him. He doesn't get it. He better keep his mouth shut and get just be quiet and go away. Because, but it doesn't really matter at this point because everybody knows who he is, okay? Tesla shares dropped after a deliveries report raised concern that more price cuts are coming. Of course they're coming because we have choices. So why would you buy something from Elon Musk? Tesla reported first quarter deliveries of 422,875 electric vehicles and production of 440,808 cars, folks. The record numbers represented 4% growth in deliveries from the prior period and follow repeated price cuts in the United States, in China, and in Europe. They're in trouble. I don't care what kind of bravado Elon Musk tries to show. They're in trouble because of his big mouth, nasty attitude, and frankly, in my opinion, racist policies. Those are your financial stories. Stay with me. I'm just sick and tired of us not spending time together lately. I know, baby. I know. I'm sorry I even spending time with you. Has been working on this big deal. It's gonna bring a lot more money to the household for it. What you doing here, boss? Yeah, just checking to see if you still got it. You take this work. I'm your partner. I don't want it back. You've seen the movies, man. I know how this goes. You see the movies, huh? What you see? Goodfellas, New Jack City. Scott. Everything I do is for you. Like, I just need a little bit more time, man. Fine boy. He, like I said, he's going to call any second. Why do you take a look at this video? Guess what? It's starring you. Okay, this is the end of the show. As you know, it always ends with your health. That's why Dr. K is at the end and not the beginning because we want to leave you with the ability to stay alive. Welcome, Dr. K. What's the topic today? Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, the topic is continuing to talk about colon health, gut health, colon cancer, longevity, and the relationship between our diet and our overall health. So today I want to talk about the natural killer cells. The natural killer cells are part of our immune system. They're white blood cells, and they are the special forces of the body. They go out looking for invaders. Mm -hmm. And when they find an invader, they surround it and they try to kill it. And they also send out a hormone and summon other parts of the immune system. So the natural killer cells are very important to our health. We just finished with COVID. Well, we're really not finished, let's face it. But what I'm saying is that they're in the lungs, they're in the tonsils, they are in the immune system, and the gut is 70% of where our immune cells are located. So gut health and providing an environment where these cells can grow and flourish is very important. What does that? Well, what does that is what we discussed last week which is promoting an alkaline or basic environment in the gut rather than promoting an acid environment in the gut. What promotes a basic environment in the gut? Well, it is a whole foods, plant-based diet. When you eat meats, dairy, processed foods, you are promoting an acidic environment in the gut, which is not a healthy environment for these cells to grow. When the colon bacteria is, is in an acidic environment, 
it reduces the quantity and the efficiency of the natural killer cells. Mm -hmm. And our job in life is to keep those natural killer cells at a high level. Mm -hmm. So people, we truly are what we eat. We want our natural killer cells as well as the rest of our immunity to be the best it can be. And the way that we do that is we eat, we eat correctly. And eating correctly is staying out of the middle aisle, mm -hmm. staying away from meat and dairy, and eating a whole foods, plant-based diet. And, 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 I know yeah. it, it just in about 10 seconds, because it, it's really hard to do. How do people start? Because they've been eating junk for so long. The way that I would start is decreasing the portion of meat on my plate. Okay. Or I would start with lunch. Now, lunch, you're not feeding your family. A lot of times you're just feeding yourself. It's a chance to eat a healthy meal. Mm -hmm. I would also start by maybe you have macaroni and cheese and maybe you say, you know what? I'm not going to eat as much and I'm gradually going to decrease that. Mm -hmm. Then off comes the processed carbs off the plate and replacing that plate with vegetables mm -hmm. or fruits at every meal. Mm -hmm. and, and, and slowly, I mean, this is a life change. So slowly converting over into a healthier diet. And, and I want to add another point of keeping your natural killer cells high. Believe it or not, rest, people. Turn off the television. Melatonin, mm -hmm. rest. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's very interesting what we mm -hmm. already know about how to stay healthy. Well, the, we know, they know, but the only reason why we know is because you're telling us, because we don't hear this anywhere else. You know, it's very unfortunate. There's a lot of money in illness. There's a lot of money in <laughs> illness. And that's all I can say. Well, they're not getting money from me. Not me <laughs> Try to be healthy. <laughs> thank you, Dr. K. Thank you so much for, for joining us every week and helping us to stay healthy. And thank you for watching from all of us here at Impact News. We wish you a wonderful week, and we'll see you next week. Thank you, Dr. K. Thanks. Thanks for having me.